Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, we will take an in-depth look at the Quick Announcement Bars features. If you've already created a bar, you can create a new one by clicking on the Create New Bar button. I will first create a template. Anything you input in the Name field is only for your reference. It will not affect the bar. I'm having a limited time 50% off sale, so I will add this message to the bar. I can also add a button to the bar or make the entire bar clickable. I would then input the URL where my visitors will be directed when they click the bar in this field. Here are the display options. I want the bar to be displayed at the top of the page and always be visible, but I can always change this option later. You can use one of the background images available in the app, or if you subscribe to the premium plan, you can upload your own background image. If you add a button to your bar, you can also select a button animation. This is the swing animation. There's a wide variety of fonts to choose from. Let's preview a couple of them. I'm going to make the font a bit larger so that it stands out a bit more. By default, the bar will be displayed on every page. However, there are other options such as displaying it only on your home page, on any one page, or on pages that have specific keywords. You can exclude pages using the same options. By default, the bar will be displayed on both desktop and mobile browsers, but you have the option of displaying it on only desktop or mobile. You can target by product tag as well. For example, if I want the bar to be displayed only on products that are on sale, I can add a sale tag to my products and target this product in the app. You can also target specific customers by customer tag or based on the total amount a customer has already spent in your store. I'm offering this sale only to Canadian customers, so I will target Canada in the geotargeting feature. Visitors from any other country will not see the bar. There's also an option to target by visitor source or UTM target. For example, if I want to display the bar only to visitors who are referred by a specific page, I can input the URL of this page. If I want to display the bar only during a specific time frame, I can turn on the display schedule feature. You can use custom JavaScript or CSS code in the custom code configuration input field. There are a few pre-made scripts that may interest you, depending on the effect that you want to display. Let's save the bar and see how it looks on the website. This is the top bar display option, always visible while scrolling. Now let's change it to the top display non-sticky option. When I reload the page, I can see that the bar is no longer displayed when I scroll down the page. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.